Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm a Simple K-12 uh, webinar host and EdTech and Curriculum Consultant and founder of ClassTechTips.com. I'm going to share with you a solution to a problem you may be having, which is how can I create presentations from my iPad? And we're going to take a look at one of my favorite presentation tools, Keynote. So Keynote is an app for iPads. I'm in Keynote right now, and I'm going to go ahead and press this plus sign to create a presentation. I'm given lots of options, but we're going to start with something plain and simple here to go over some of the key features. So in Keynote, you can add text to using templates that are already provided. If you go and look at the plus sign at the bottom left-hand corner, it gives me all sorts of templates that I can add to my presentation. And one neat thing is that I can even move them around in different directions. When I tap on an element, like my text box here, it gives me some options automatically. Or I can press this paintbrush up at the top um, to change any of the style of different text. Lots of options here. If I want to add things to it, I can add special effects like making something a little bit more transparent, adding a shadow, um, or even a reflection um, to my text as well. So if I want to add an element to my screen, I press that plus button here, and it lets me add tables like you see here in all different colors. It lets me add graphs, some 2D, 3D, and interactive graphs. It lets me add all sorts of shapes, and here's where I grab my text box too. And I can even add pictures, and it'll pull from some of the albums already here um, on your camera roll or stored on your device. Um, when we take a look at some sharing options, once you finish your presentation, you can share it via iCloud, you can open it up in another app or send it off to whoever you want to view it. And there's tons of extra tools and features that you're probably familiar with with a presentation tool, transitions and builds, adding presenter notes, um, and tools for actually giving this presentation. And what's neat about this as well is not only is there that question mark with some help features to help you out as you're moving about um, your presentation creation, but you can even press that play button and play directly from your device as well. Now, don't forget, you can go ahead and save um, your presentation by sharing it out to someone else or it'll save automatically when you go back into your presentation mode here. And if you have any questions or need extra help, press that question mark at the top right hand corner of the screen and it'll give you plenty of extra tips too.